Welcome back to my channel, it's Cozy Christopher. Today we're looking at the Red Dragon K649 Elf Pro gasket mounted keyboard. Now, what is the difference between a regular keyboard and a gasket mounted keyboard, you ask? Well, for one, to keep it simple, it provides padding in between where you type and the frame of the keyboard. This allows for better sound dampening and it allows for a better stroke when you're typing. So it should give you a much better tactile feel when typing. Um, without getting into details, that's the best way to describe it. And so Red Dragon always provides value in their keyboards based on the cost. And so we're gonna look at this thing because it's marked at $89, but right now you can find it for $69 with 15% discount at the time of recording this video, June, 2023. So let's jump into the unboxing. Let's look at some gameplay. Let's do some sound tests, and then let's give some final thoughts on this keyboard. I'm excited to get my hands on it because this is a solid, solid, solid keyboard. And what it's competing against are keyboards up to $300, somewhere up in that range. So let's jump to the video. some switch noise it's really quiet that is it it's in the box and then let's get this unboxed Ooh. <laughs> that looks good <laughs> that looks really good so of course it's protected really really well oh my goodness that looks good look at that board Let's get all the plastic off of here. My goodness, this board looks freaking sweet. Dang. It's packaged and protected really, really well. Stop this ASMR. I should have definitely done an ASMR on that. That that was premium. Um, this board is gorgeous. There's weight to this board. This is not a cheap board at all. It does not feel value based or budget at all. This is a heavy board in 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 relativity to what you can expect. But look at the the very clean. That is so clean. There's your dongle, dongle compartment. There's your USB-C and your tri-mode switch. Off, of course, is wired, Bluetooth, and then wire, and then uh, 2.4. Um, this is a beautiful board. It has tri-stands on the bottom, so you have tri three different levels of, of, of stand on the bottom so you have just flat there with the grips to make sure it doesn't slide on your desk then you have your first level and then you have your second level so you got three levels of height adjustment right there Let's see what it looks like underneath so there's your this isn't the best of a key puller but so that's what the keys look like underneath. There you can see the hot swappable board there. Yeah, that is, 
That is really nice. See what it looks like with the RGB. Let's see if it has any power here. Oh, that looks good. That smoky color looks pretty good too. Like it's it's a smoky color and you can see those translucent keys there. They look great. Well, they're providing a lot of value by adding software. When you first come into the software settings, you are able to set settings for the actual keyboard itself. You can go into the profile settings and you can set multiple settings for this particular keyboard. The mouse, uh, th this is mouse settings, multimedia settings, macro pad, commands. Okay, so I wanna point out that when you're using the, the software to set the RGB on the keyboard, it takes a little bit of time. You're gonna select the RGB that you want and then you're gonna click save. It's gonna take about five to 10 seconds to do that, but the fastest way is just to use the function and right shift button combination and then that will go through all 20 backlighting modes that you have here. And then moving on, there is a response music mode as well. That is pretty cool. So let's click the video or start the video so you can see what that looks like. Sixty four, sixty seven ish. That that range is my average. So okay, cool. So we're good. Um, let's try this in gaming. Let's see what this is like to game with. I'm interested to see what this is like to game with. This keyboard feels so good. It's so responsive and smooth. I think I'm getting used to, uh, again, like I said, the, the tall uh, keys compared to the low profile keys that I've been using. So let's talk about who this keyboard is for and who the keyboard is not for. Um, this keyboard is for anyone that wants the top value that you can get for the dollar. It comes with software, it's gasket mounted with two different silicone pads on the inside to dampen the sound as well as dampen the stroke of the key. Um, and it, it offers so much versatility when it comes to software, just looks and aesthetic and build quality. It is a firm and solid built keyboard. Who this keyboard may not be for. I saw a video by a respected YouTuber that I watched. She had some complaints around the gasket mount and how the gasket mount is used to create the separation of sound and, and strike capability on this keyboard. What I will say for that is these keyboards are out of the box, big box, whatever you want to call it, type keyboards. 
they're not going to be always for someone that builds custom keyboards and uses custom keyboards and spends two to three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars on a custom keyboard build. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm anxious to have these type of conversations because I think it's always important to bring it back to center of what value is what versus cost and things like that. Always look at multiple opinions, not like don't judge your decision 100% solely based on me. Hopefully I provided enough value and information and details for you to make an educated decision, but still go out and do your own research and then compare that to the, uh, the opinions of others because at the end of the day, these are not subjective, they're objective opinions based on our experience and the products that we've seen, touched and felt ourselves. And that's gonna play a part in the decisions for us to whether we recommend something or don't recommend it right and so um, my opinion isn't isn't always right right and, and their opinions isn't always right but at the end of the day hopefully i'm providing enough detail and value for you to be able to make an educated decision across multiple platforms and research that you do on your own um, but i will say i will always be consistent and transparent in my opinion so let me know your thoughts as always stay cozy in that crazy world and i'll see you in the next video peace I'll be howling and howling